What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going to go for a ride in a 1972 Monte Carlo. This one does have a 454 big block in it. The AC compressor is something under the hood. Looks like we got power steering, uh, power brakes. Quiet motor. Insulation up under the hood here. Coming on down with it. We're gonna be taking it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Check us out at maplemotors.com. I have shipping and financing available. Definitely listen to me. It's on maplemotors.com. I do get calls every single day asking if we uh, if we finance. So, and y'all are watching the videos. Go to maplemotors.com. Just pushing the side there a little bit. Whoa! Look at the wind coming through here. I think it's telling me to get on with it. You know what it means? It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before we take off, we're going to look around the interior, kind of check some stuff out. We always place bets. Do you think the horn works? Show you the mileage. I can't stand behind it because of the year. This says 41,955. Go ahead and turn her on. No gas. Of course, when it's cold, it's warmed up a little bit now. Um, we pump the gas two or three times, starts right up wipers boom works horn sometimes if you hit it a whole bunch it'll just start beeping but that this scenario this one's broke needs a new horn i guess also looks good blower motor hold up compressor's kicking on so we should have ac in this give her a second Give me some AC. It's slightly cold. We'll give her a little bit of time. Keep it on and uh, we'll check it throughout the test drive. Looking around the interior, the seat's in great shape. Back seat looks pretty good. Package tray's a little bit wrinkled, not bad though. Headliner's got, could be tightened up a little bit in the back, but it looks fairly new. Over here in the corner needs to be tucked in. Nothing that can't be fixed though. And AC is actually cold. It's a good sign. So we got cold air coming in here. Let's listen to the motor, listen to the car, hit the road and see how she drives. Getting ready to roll out of here. Just digging for the seat belt. It looks like super loose. Just tighten her up. There we go. Uh, do these videos so you know exactly what you're getting. Let's get ready to take off down the road. And do me a favor if you haven't already, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out a lot. You can also check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I post that all the time. Try to keep it different, you know. I'm gonna let this traffic pass. And I'll point out any flaws that I find. Here we go. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. This thing's going straight as an arrow down the road. Steering's nice and tight. As soon as I turn, it turns. Somebody's behind us, let's hit the brakes. Slight pull to the right. Nothing major there. Kick down. Kick down is hooked up on this one. Pretty strong feeling car. It's on the stock side, a little bit of a cam. Still a driver, which is good. You start building on these motors too much, they'll start running hot, giving you all kinds of little issues that uh, a stock motor wouldn't. Old pressure's around 50 without me touching the gas. Engine temperature is below 180. I hear the turn signals clicking, but neither one of the bulbs are popping up. Oh, the right one's popping up on the dash now. Just started working. We'll test the other one when the guy's not right behind me. All right. Left bulb turn signal is out. It's not giving me anything. I'm gonna pull in here and get some gas. Right now, I'm below a quarter tank, close to E, and I don't wanna run out. So we're gonna get about $20 worth of premium fuel 
come back around the car, check the gas gauge, make sure it works, and uh, then we'll take off, get some outside shots, undercarriage shots, and look below in the description if you want to see what I use to make these videos. Let's get some gas. So we got her fueled up now. The gas cap is right behind the tag on this one. I put $20 worth of premium fuel. Now we're gonna check that gas gauge out. Right back here, a little wash mitt, fuzz. So yeah, got the gas gauge over here. That's what it was reading when we pulled in, turned the key. And she's coming up. Looks like she's working pretty good. Turn the key again. Starts up pretty easy. Let's keep it rolling. getting ready to take off here so far so good take the long route home great for cruising it's nice and smooth easy to drive fairly quiet too till you get down on it and you really hear open up Full pressure on this one, still above 40. Engine temperature's right at 200 from circling that parking lot. I think the max I seen it get up to was like 210. And that was me walking around, you know, driving over the camera and just kind of putting around, flying past the camera, <laughs> getting on in a little bit. Okay, it's time to retire this camera. I'm gonna call GoPro today and retire this one GoPro that I've had issues with. It just started happening too. 
I don't know if it's the heat or what, what's going on. This one here about the end of a test drive video. Of course, it takes about an hour. It just shuts off. I don't know if y'all noticed. I was just driving down the road there and I looked up and it was off. So I'm not 100% where it ended, but we'll just keep on cruising here. I'd, uh, what I was saying right when I noticed it was off, the driver mirror is different from the passenger mirror. I noticed that. again she's got plenty of get up and go I think y'all have pointed up a little bit there we go seems to be working pretty good wonder if that's going to the lot maybe looks like it have made it back around we're pulling in the car a lot now guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit subscribe share and i'll keep them coming your way i'll see you later We're back to the lot now on this 1972 Monte Carlo. This one's got a 454 under the hood with the AC hooked up. Seem to run and drive really good. So we're gonna walk around, look for paint flaws, chips, scratches, rust, bondo, anything I can find. That way you know exactly what kind of car you're getting before you get it. We, uh, we try to be as honest as we can. We take multiple detailed pictures of this car. I do the videos, Jeff, my uncle does the pictures, so we get two different perspectives. And uh, we try to give you a good, honest review. Because I know a lot of y'all are not here in Tennessee. You're probably across the nation. So let's get started here. I'm going to run down the lower portions first. And uh, then we'll work our way up to the top. Coming around the front. You got some pitting popping up on the front bumper. It is not perfect. The headlight bezels look decent. Run your headlight, you got a couple little scratches. You got a crack in the paint right here. Coming on down, up and over the fender, there's a crack right there, light scratches. Got some cracks in the paint here as well. You get down this lower portion, you got some rust popping up. Somebody uh, touched up with some touch-up paint. A couple bubbles at the bottom of the door. Actually, those are just chips that have been touched up. Look like bubbles because of the different color. Some dimples there, a little crack in the paint here. A little uh, bubbles popping up on the back there. A little bit more cracks in the paint. Lots of little cracks in this paint here. It must be an older paint job. A few bubbles in the back. 
I don't usually see that cracking unless the paint job's like 20 plus years old. You got some uh, chips back here. Tell you what, it's slick though. Somebody's buffed this car. You got some spots there. Door handle's got some pitting on it. Your seal around the edges has got some cracks. That's on the outside though. See what I'm talking about. You got some light scratches right there. A couple spots here on top of the fender. Yeah, I like this. Chips there. On the inside here, you can see some scratches. Got some chips on the pillar there. Little light spots on the top. You can put some conditioner on this. It actually looks pretty good. Looking around the edges, I'm not seeing a lot of rust. I didn't see any down through there. A lot of times you can run your hands on it. It's so hot today, I don't know. Well, there's a little bit back here. You see them bubbles? That's what I was looking for. A couple of them bubbles. A lot of times it'll be on this package tray too. We'll get that trunk lid shut and double check. It's not any on this side, but a little touch up mark there. Coming up to the back, the back bumper on this one has got some pitting on it. Dual exhaust. A crack right there in the bumper. Leather stripping looks great around the trunk lid. Flipping her up here. Got some paint chips in the trunk, nothing major. Looking at the package tray. Pretty good. Think it was spare tire. A little scratch here. Couple chips there in the corner. few little chips there top of this trunk lid fairly smooth a couple little tiny chips popping up it's a light crack back here pulling on the back of that top it's pretty smooth around this edge little bump there one little bump Whew, it's hot it's all right though. Sometimes you can't see them bumps. Ow. There's some right there. There's some in this area here. You may not be able to see them on the camera, but they're on the driver's side right here above the, the window. Let's try this hand. Kind of feels like one right there too. A little bit of water is getting under that top there and it was causing some rust let's go down the lower portion of this car now went under the top already started the wrong direction coming down this way open over a couple chips down here at the bottom probably some bubbles there's a little dimple there coming on up trims a little bit off there in the corner Couple chips there, trims a little bit off in the front here too. You can see where it's bent. And at the bottom. Went up over the fender. There's a bubble right there. You got a light scratch right here. And up in the front there. See some chips and a little bit of paint crack. Scuff. Light scratch. Should come out. A couple lot more light scratches right here. bubble in the paint some cracks there's a light scratch right there a small little dimple chip in the paint 
oxidized door handle. Chips in the corner here. A couple little chips there, scuffs. Coming around the top here, you got some wax down in that stripe. Little light spot there. There's a crack in the paint there. A couple dings in the trim and a little bubble back there. You can see a couple touch-up marks. See all that running through there. Got a hazy mirror, some pitting. On this side up on top, the headlight, you got some chips. All right, we walked around the car. Now all we got left is the hood, but let's check the interior out first, get her started up. And we'll see uh, what else we can find. Looking at the interior, the seat is in great shape on this one. Carpet has been replaced. Back seat package tray, a little wrinkled back there. Headliner can be stretched out in this corner too. Look at decent. Door panel. Weather stripping corner there. All right. Jumping off in the car. It's pretty good across the dash. Not bad. There's a crack up there in the middle. Come down with this hood, you look on the edge there, got a couple little chips. Coming down with it, comes down very easy as you can see. Now she's locked up. Couple chips. most part car is in good shape older paint job runs it drives good couple little spots there guys i have to remind you go to maplemotors.com if you need financing i have those options available on the website so check them out i also have shipping i can ship these cars all over the country i want to thank you for watching Please hit subscribe, please share, and hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. I thank you in advance for helping me out, and uh, I'll do the same by trying to represent these cars honestly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go grab another one. See you later.